This video is sponsored by bootcamp.com. Check it out for INBDE prep and use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here, and welcome back to our oral medicine series. In this video, we're going to talk about a bit of a random topic, but an important one since it appears on the board exam, and that is the betel nut. So the betel nut is the seed at the center of the fruit that comes from the areca palm tree. And that seed is separated out from the fruit and then can be prepared a number of different ways for consumption. One way is into what's called a quid. And this is where the nut is rolled into a leaf, sometimes with tobacco, sugar, and other additives, and it's chewed on. So unlike a lot of the other illicit drugs we talked about in the substance abuse video that were inhaled or administered intravenously, this drug is chewed, which will be important when we discuss oral manifestations in the next slide. And the betel nut is a stimulant drug, like cocaine or methamphetamine, so you are stimulating the central nervous system. So the most important part of this video is this slide of oral manifestations. Now, betel nut users are at risk for what's called oral submucous fibrosis, and this condition is incurable, and it usually affects the lips, the cheeks, the soft palate, and sometimes the pharynx. And it starts out as inflammation, but it gets progressively worse as more and more collagen is deposited into these soft tissues, and this causes stiffness and eventually the loss of movement of the mouth. It can get so debilitating that a patient won't be able to open and close their mouth anymore and will have to be fed from a tube. It's also a pre-malignant condition, which means it can transition and transform into a cancer, and in this case, it can transform into an oral cancer like squamous cell carcinoma. Regular chewing of the betel nut can cause attrition of the occlusal surfaces of the posterior teeth, as well as gingival recession. In fact, betel nut chewing is a risk factor for periodontal disease in general. Extrinsic staining of both teeth and gums is another side effect. It results in this unique reddish-brown stain. And I thought this was important to mention because xerostomia is so often in this oral manifestation slide of most of the videos I've made in this oral medicine series. But xerostomia is not a side effect of betel nut chewing. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. And thank you to all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out. The link is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.